Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina, and today we're gonna be reviewing Shadow High. And we're gonna be reviewing Shadow High Series 2 Glitch. So, let me tell you something. I've been waiting for this doll to drop since I seen Glitch in the show. Honestly, I really love her vibe in the show and her whole like how she was afraid to sing in front of everybody and her voice was so beautiful and literally I was like I cannot wait to make her a doll like every rainbow high doll that was dropping I'm like oh my gosh I want I need to see her as a doll but then they dropped costume ball and I mean I have a costume ball doll I actually have one I haven't even opened her yet let me get her and I've had her for months but um I have this one I have a wear cat which she is beautiful She's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't I haven't unboxed her because I just I need to have another display. Okay, so you know I me. Mean? I'm gonna keep them in a box until I have a display for them. But her I already have a place for her to put on my shelf. So we're gonna open Glitch today, and I'm so excited. I am gonna put some chains in her hair because that's how she is in the show. So. That's going to be a separate video. I'm gonna go on like a doll hunt and I'm gonna find some change for Glitch's hair. But let's go ahead and get into this new doll. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the new box art. And I absolutely love the holographic details of this new box art for High, but I hope they do the same for Rainbow High because it's very fascinating. And in the box, it has a picture of her and Rex. I do want Rex. Like, I, I might get a little flack for this, but like, I like the Shadow High Boys more than the Rainbow High Boys. It's weird, because I have Ash, but I don't have, what's the other, um, Rainbow High Boy, um, I think his name's River, and then there's Finn, but they just don't, they don't attract to me, so like, when I saw Ash, I was like, I want him right away. I think he's so cool. And then the same, I feel the same way about this one right here. So I'm gonna order him next. And he comes with a laptop. So it'll be dope to have a doll laptop that's from the MGA Shadow High or Rainbow High brand, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this doll. And I can't wait to look at her fashion because I heard that this whole piece right here is like legging shoes and just looking at her straight out of the box and I wanna look at these details cause this is my first time opening a Rainbow High doll with a phone cause I don't have a pair of Silton doll. So I'm super excited and I'm ready to show you guys the whole process and also this artwork like in the back. So there's artwork in the back like dolls right here and then there's other artwork behind the doll and then on the other side so I really love that effect and it's super cool so let's go ahead and open this doll up all right guys so when you open the box these are all her pictures that come with her I love this one I think it's so cute and look at this oh my god she's so adorable so let's get into her details first so I I never collected series one the only series one doll I have is the Avery Styles doll, so I never experienced having the hangers like that. So I am glad that I get to experience having hangers with my dolls. So she comes with these hangers, a skirt hanger, and or a pants hanger, or a top hanger or dress hanger, and it says shadow, and this is H S H for shadow high. And then she comes with a microphone. But as you guys know, she sung in the show at the end. And I love the spikes at the bottom of the base of her mic stand. Some people are tired of the mic, but this is my first mic. Well, no, it's not my first mic because Sabrina, I have Sabrina, and she has a mic, but her mic's different. So I guess this is the same mic for the Neo Shadow. I don't have any of those dolls, so I am happy to have a basic mic. So I really do like this and I love the colors. It matches Glitch very well and it says shadow on the side. And also she comes with a stand. She comes with this black stand that's glittery. I really love it. I heard ex kind of say that this is like a tambourine. I thought it was so funny when she said that. I thought it was like so 
it was hilarious to me and then in the middle it says sh for shadow high and then you slip it comes with where the t the stem of the stand is like on the side of the box and then you attach the holder that you put the doll on on top and then also she comes with this comb which i never use i don't use these combs but you know i keep my combs together for my dolls because it came with them so i just collect them together they just it's just something i do i, I love having the old-fashioned barbie combs just having them all together in like a little tin really cool so also her other accessories that came with her is right here and we're gonna go ahead and open and get into that okay so first off it has this medusa head eyeshadow palette that actually opens up and it shows the swatches for glitch which is super super cute and it does correlate with her eyeshadow and i really do like that and i love the fact we have phones me i'm obsessed with a good doll phone i love doll phones i ordered them off of amazon the apple phones I love it. So this is getting very much Apple phone because it has four cameras, like the new Apple phones, like the one I'm recording on right now. And in the phone, she's texting Rex McQueen, which is the other one that I do want. And she's writing him any updates. And he says, already, let's do this with a thumbs up. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I really do love that. And not only do you get the phone, but you get a phone case. And it has a little peg for her to hold the phone. And then you can just go ahead and pop the phone in the case. Look at that. Oh, this is beautiful for pictures. Like, if I put the doll with it, she can hold it. I absolutely love this phone. I love, I love that it comes with phones and makeup and computers, you know. And I do look forward to fashion packs. I really do. And I really am excited for fashion packs. Honestly, I prefer fashion packs over two outfits. That's just my opinion. All right, guys. Are you guys ready for this? Look how gorgeous she is. I love her. I love her. Oh, my God. I mean, like, I'm glad they dropped the price point because, you know, I did have experience in a store where a parent was sad because she couldn't buy her kid a Rainbow High doll because they were so expensive. So... I am glad that they did drop the price point where you could get these dolls for $25. So, you know, I mean, if that means that I have to go buy my own chains for my glitch doll, for my adult collector satisfaction, I'd rather do that and have a kid be able to afford a Rainbow High doll than to have them add that and then that'll make it up to like $50 or $40, you know? So, you know, I'm that's my whole view on the price point. So, I'm not even going to argue about that. And honestly, she's so pretty. And the second outfit thing, I usually I'm not the type to buy two dolls to put them in a second outfit. I usually end up putting the, the second outfit inside the, the Rainbow High closet or I put it with my other doll clothes but like separate it cuz I ha I have my Rainbow High clothes separated from my Barbie clothes. Because I don't like to mix. I, the only thing I would mix with Rainbow High crossed with Barbie is like the t-shirts, like the boy shirts. Like, um, Ash's shirt and pretty much Ash, yeah. His shirt, I'll have my Barbie wear his shirt. That's pretty much it. Or a Rainbow High t-shirt. That's pretty much as far as that goes. But let's get into Glitch. So, her outfit has like the holographic and then it has some sequins up here. And I really love this. I really love how they gave her these two long trains in the back of her outfit. It's really good. It, it's a real good reference to the show because she was the host of the um, Rainbow Vision. And I'm not gonna lie, I really loved this doll. Like I, well this, well her character, I just thought it was, she was so cool how she just went from one side to the other side. She thought she was so awesome. And then the fact that she knew how to sing and that her whole story in the show, I really, really, really fell in love with her. She does have some shedding out of the box, you know, so which is common with dolls. You're going to always get a little shedding, but her hair feels like it's fully densely rooted. Let me go ahead and look inside the ponytail. 
I don't want to look too hard because yeah, she she has a good rooting pattern. She doesn't have like bald spots or things like that. Her ponytail is really really thick and long. Her ponytail touches all the way to pretty much her calves, which is really really nice. So that means like her hair down is really long. So yeah, and also her lashes are so beautiful. I love the blushing and I love the smoky eye. The smoky eye is just doing it for me. And then she even has a glossy black lip. A glossy black. If you guys see me, you guys will see me with a glossy lip. 99.9.9999999999. Percent of the time, but to execute a black glossy lip. Girl, how you do how did you get your lips like that? Like how you how you get your how you do like that? Give me the secrets, girl. What was the what's your what was the lip lip combo? Cause it's just giving so much beauty and I love it and I love her sleeves, how it has the glitch effect, and also they say the pants is connected to the shoes. So what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead on, oh, also before we do that, let's look at the earrings. So the earrings have the Medusa head, and then on top of it is an outline of the Medusa head, which is a reference to Versace, and I really do love that. I love her rainbow high. They love to reference to designer brands, and I think that's why a lot of people love them, because who doesn't love designer brands and it's very unique and a lot of designer stuff is very unique like these earrings right here in reference to them and i'm pretty sure these shoes are in reference to another fashion that has to do with any high-end fashion there when you watch claudina if any of you guys watch claudina claudina is like on point when it comes to knowing the designs and the fashions when it comes to dolls like i watch claudina all the time if i want to know like the scoop behind the scenes of what influenced different dolls so definitely follow claudina if you don't and also let's see what's going on underneath this dress okay guys so first you see that the dress is already a turtleneck right so when you take the dress off she has another turtleneck on like this is so cute you know what i thought about when i saw her like ainsley doesn't really call my attention but i kind of want to buy the ainsley pack because her outfits will look so bomb on her if you have ainsley don't you agree that the outfits that come with the ainsley doll will look fire on glitch i'm gonna buy ainsley i'm gonna buy an ainsley so i can put the clothes on her i mean i'm I probably give ainsley away but you know i want to see glitch in ainsley's clothes i just do because sh she's just giving uh, i just want to see her in different like black outfits and i love the glitch effect on the top it looks like an outfit in itself like one of those sets that you buy online but look at this like her shoes is part of her pants that's amazing and i absolutely love that and let's get into her nails she has an acrylic hand which we talked about this when i was doing my omg review how i love how mg8 gets their dolls like well manicured nails and i want that for barbie i want barbie to have this like i want their hands to look like this and i've told you guys before i thought about taking off the hands off of either rainbow eye doll or a omg doll to put on a barbie because i wonder if the pegs going to fit let me know if you guys ever tried that but um it's so pretty how their nails are and especially because well when rainbow high first came out they just had like the like gel polish it didn't look like a acrylic and now they're coming out with the acrylic and they came out with the really long acrylics when they came out with the twins from shadow high which i thought was super cool and I really like that a lot. And I am so obsessed with this doll. Like, she's just everything I thought she was going to be. When I first saw she came out, and I saw, I don't know who I saw on Instagram, but somebody had posted that they had it on Amazon. And I was like, um, I don't, I don't need to compare faces. I just know I want glitch. I don't care. Whatever imperfections, I'll fix it. I want her now. And I had ordered her. They said she was supposed to come on 17th, but she came early, honey. She was on my doorstep today. So I was like, honey, you're getting a review today, and you're getting open today. 
So I cannot wait to put some, I, I wanna put some like silver bobby pins in her hair. And I wanna also give her some pretty silver chains. And I'm, I am highly considering buying Ainsley, Ainsley so I can put her in Ainsley's outfits to give her different black looks. And if I do do that, I'll probably record it, you know, just show you guys how she will look in Ainsley's outfits. But all in all, this doll is so beautiful. Look at her lashes on the bottom. It has a white, like, outline of lashes on the bottom. So beautiful. It's just the, the makeup, because I love makeup. So when makeup is done and it's executed so beautifully, I really love it. And I love how they're introducing a different style of baby hairs. Because usually in Rainbow High, you usually see the swirly baby hairs. But these are more like the, these are like how I do my baby hairs. Like I do my baby hairs like that, like slick, like like just the swoops on the side. I don't, I do it like this. Because some people, they don't do too much baby hair. Some people do, like to each his own, like everybody has their own style. But I love how her baby hair is more, is more my style and I really like that a lot. And I can really appreciate this doll and look at the heels on these shoes as well well these shoe pants shoe pants okay like and look at nice to the bottom of her shoe oh uh, it just says whether it's right or left and that's the thing about the dream behind dolls they do have a right and left shoe some dogs do not have left and right shoe believe it or not but yeah but my conclusions on this doll is that for me she's a 10 out of 10 the only thing i could say is that i wish this doll had rings like at least maybe one little ring or a black little like basic ring or like a little black like ring with like silver around it something cute to because i feel like glitch will wear rings because in the show she has chains in her hair so i would imagine that she will have jewelry but you know it's okay because supposedly you're supposed to be getting fashion packs to come with the rainbow high dolls so I'm hoping for fashion packs. Honestly, I prefer fashion packs over a second outfit because then I won't feel like, okay, this outfit belongs to this person or this outfit belongs to that person. It'll just be a fashion pack, just like Barbie. Like you can put any fashion pack on any doll. You know, you don't classify a fashion pack to a person. I mean, there's some fashion packs that are like, like for the Brooklyn style and all that, but I just cannot wait because I love how the purses were when the purses came out. The shoes were really nice, like, cause I I liked the Brianna Dulce, but I didn't want Brianna Dulce really. I wanted like her shoes. So for me, the shoes, like if you're a collector like me where you don't collect all rainbow high dolls, but you like certain accessories, that kind of is more in your favor because you can have the fashion, but you don't have to dedicate to the doll. And I really do like that. That's just my personal opinion. Everyone's different. Teach his own. And, you know, all in all, I absolutely love Glitch. I think she's so pretty. I am in love so far with Series 2. She's my first Series 2 Shadow High doll. She had to be because I couldn't, I couldn't wait for them to turn this character to a doll. Because... I watched the Rainbow High series, and when I watch the series and I like a character, I can't wait to have her. She's a doll. That's just period. And also, I ordered the um, Disney Illy doll. I think that's how you say it. I ordered them on DisneyShop.com. So that should be coming next week. So I'm going to review that next week. So tomorrow, we're going to be doing some other doll-related activities because i just been in a very doll recording mood. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this doll in the comments down below. And let me know if you guys have tried Ainsley's outfit on this doll. So, Because I, I would love to see what you guys think. And does she look good in all the black outfits that Ainsley comes with? Guys, okay, so that's it for my review of Glitch from Series 2 Shadow High. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram so you can see pictures of my dolls. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.